Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create or design verification screens for the email. Whenever we are going to create anything which requires some success or error notification, we can use these screens on them. So we'll try to create screen in a way that it should be generic. It can be reusable throughout our project or in other projects. So first of all, let's quickly have a look what we're going to create. Okay, our project is running. This is splash screen. Then we have this onboarding screen. After that, let's go to login. Then we created create account screen. We have completed the playlist so far till here. But next when user is going to submit this form and click on this create account, this verify email address is going to be appeared because the notification email or email will be sent to user email address and Firebase uses a technique in which when user is going to click on the link sent by the Firebase, a pop-up will be appear and user just have to reset or verify that email using that specific link but we will keep on listening in here when the user is going to verify his email address using the email sent by the firebase this screen will automatically detect authentication and redirect to the next screen or user can manually click on this continue button to go to the next screen which is this success screen so we will create these two screens in the second screen this screen will be reusable because we will create a separate widget of the screen in which this uh, image is replaceable, title, subtitle and continue button will also be replaceable. Okay, if you're following the playlist, you can see we are creating Flutter e-commerce application and we are inside section two. In today's tutorial, we are going to create the second part, which is the second part of the sign up screen. And in the previous tutorials, we have already covered everything. I suggest you to watch the section one, mandatory section one, which is very useful if you're new. And you can also get the complete code from the description below. And also link to the playlist is in the description below or from the right top corner. So without wasting time, let's open Android Studio. In the last tutorial, we learned how to create sign up. And in here, we have already covered splash, onboarding, login and sign up. So for today's tutorial, uh, we are going to create this verify email, which I have created a new class inside the features, authentication, screens. And in the sign up, I have created verify email because it is specific to this signup process. So that's why I have added this dot dot class inside the signup folder. Okay, now inside this class, if you see the design, the first thing we need is cross sign at the top, which we are going to create it in the app bar. And after that, we have one image, title, subtitle, and buttons. Okay, now as you can see inside the scaffold, I have created a simple empty stateless widget and name it verify email screen. And in the scaffold, I have created a simple empty app bar. Then in the body, we have single child scroll view, which will be usable to scroll the design. Whenever the device is going to be smaller, our design should not be crashed. So that's why we are using single child scroll view. And then we have added a default padding, a equal padding, which is applied or being applied in all upcoming videos to all the screens we are going to use, which will be the default space right over here, which is 24. Okay, the first thing we are going to create is a cross button at the top. So inside this app bar, we are going to create actions because actions always started from the right side. To create actions in the app bar, we have an actions property and it requires a list of actions. So that's why we are using this square brackets. And as a cross button, we are going to use icon button. On press will take us to the back screen. So if you're using the getx, you just have to use get dot back. And that's it. Let's import the get property, which is get dot dart and down below you have to wrap it in a function then as an icon this time we are going to use cupertino icon import cupertino library dot clear add a constant so to move to this verify email screen let's go to sign up form and down below for the sign up button use the get.2 and make sure you should wrap it with a function this is a single line function and then inside this get.2 again it required a function so use it as a single line and then we are going to call verify email screen add constant at the start control alt l to align the code okay now let's save it click on this continue button and you can see we have a cross sign right at the top when we are going to click on this cross we are redirecting back to the create account screen let's go to verify email and in here instead of using get dot back because we don't want to let the user to go back instead we will use 
get dot off all to remove all the screens and directly go to login screen again because when the user is going to redirect or go back from the verify email this means that we are already going to store the user data and user have to verify his email so we definitely have to log out the user first and then redirect so this headache is for the backend so don't worry about it let's try it get dot off all go to login screen and that's it okay next thing we need to create is an image use the image widget and as an image we are going to use asset image okay to use the image you first have to add the images go to assets inside the images i have added a folder which is animations and i have a bunch of animations which you can get or download from iconz.com but if you want to get this whole data with all the assets you can get it the link is in the description let's close these extra files now to add this folder or to use this folder we first have to declare it in the pub spec down below in here we have added other images so same way we will use the assets images and animations folder go to assets images animations and right click copy path reference copy this path content from root paste it over here and make sure to add forward slash okay one sided because we have to use these animations and widgets again and again so instead of copying the path each time we use the constants in the image strings let's add these animations here okay i've added all the animations to add the animations again you only have to do this hectic routine once go to image or the path which you want to copy copy the path reference use this path from content root and paste it inside over here now we can easily call t images dot whatever image we want to use okay, let's close this now inside the assets we have to call t images dot delivered email illustration now let's save the code because the pub spec is being changed now add the get dependencies and whenever you add a new images you make sure you have to hot restart or rerun your application okay now you can see image is being appeared let me change this mode to the light mode in here you can see in the app bar we also have a back arrow so to hide that back arrow or to remove that back arrow we will use automatically imply leading to false let's save it and back arrow is gone now inside this image add a width property we will use t helper functions dot screen width let's remove the constants from here add other required constants and inside the t helper functions we have already created screen width size function which is going to return a screen width and we all we don't want to use the complete width so we will only take 60 percent of the screen so multiply it with the 0.6 let's save the code and hopefully it is already taking 60 percent of the screen because column is not currently taking the complete width so don't worry just add a space at the bottom for the space we're using size box height will be space between sections 32 and space between item is 16 now for the title and subtitle use the text property and inside we will use the ttext.confirm email which we have already defined verify your email address and then as a style we are going to use headline medium theme and text align will be center then we have a space between items previously between the image we have space between sections now between title subtitle and text we are going to use space between items let's save the code and you can see we are moving towards the right side because currently column does not covering the full width so that's why we can see that it's taking space slowly but once we have everything aligned it will automatically take the full width or the way around is uh, wrap the column with the size box and make it full width it's all up to you now let me create another text okay so in the second text i have added email directly over here but in the future in the back end we will get the email from the sign up screen and we will use that same email over here as a theme we are going to use the label large and then text align again will be center let's save it and you can see email is visible okay i have done also with the confirm email subtitle the text is written over here it's a bit large text this is the benefit of keeping everything aligned you can see we have a clean code so again it's going to use the label medium size text is center we have a space between section because text section is completed let's save it and you can see when we have the complete code our everything is now aligned perfectly in the center next we have to create buttons to create a full width button we are going to use size box width is going to be double dot infinity 
as a child we are going to use the elevated button on presses now as a child we are going to use text elevated button on presses now and child is going to be text with the t continue button and definitely when the user is going to click on this t continue we will redirect to the success screen using the same on pressed from here okay for now let's add some extra space copy the same button but this time instead of elevated button we will use the text button over here and change the text to resend email let's save the code and you can see we have continue button and down below we have resend email button also created okay now this design is completed when user is going to click on this continue button we will perform the next thing which is we want to show the success screen because we are assuming user email has been verified okay to create that reusable button go to commons inside the buttons and you can see we have success screen folder you just have to create a new folder name it anything now inside i'm going to create a new class success screen dot dot if you want to create multiple success screen designs you can name it success screen one two three uh, or some specific names hit enter import the library material dot dot create a stateless class success screen replace this placeholder with a scaffold as a body we will use single child scroll view because in smaller screens our design might not be in the center exactly there are multiple chances that our design can easily get crashed if we are using the center alignment over here and unable to make it responsive so it's better to add extra space at the top but use single child scroll view we'll use a padding as a padding this time we are going to use the spacing style we created in the previous videos spacing style dot padding with a bar height and we will increase that height to 2 to add some extra space let's go to this class which is right over here in the styles spacing styles and inside we created padding with a bar height because top is taking the a bar height which i have defined over here is a 56 but rest everything is default align which is 24 let's close it after this padding let's add a child because we also want to place elements from top to bottom so we will require a column okay so let's uh, go to the verify email inside we're going to use the same image same sizing and then again same text let me just copy it import required libraries let's remove this add text add sizes so the first text is your account created title and the second one is your account created subtitle and then again we need one button which we are going to copy it from here go to success screen inside the buttons paste it text will remain same when user is going to click on this continue we will redirect the user to the login screen import the get dot dart and use the get dot to property to go to the login screen import it over here press ctrl or l to align the code so buttons title subtitle and image is created now let's save it we first have to call the success screen in here ctrl or l success screen is added now let's save the code click on this continue and you can see our success screen is created it's right over there but to make it reusable we quickly have to create everything at the top because we will get image titles description and button on pressed from the user or from where we are calling the screen so anyway, i've created image title and subtitle in the string and then as a void callback we are going to use this on pressed so instead of passing or hard coding on pressed right over here we will replace this on pressed with the on press we created and same with the image title and subtitle image is passed inside over here we will change it and pass the image we have created at the top let's remove this constant replace the title and subtitle Control alt l to align the code and inside the constructor you can see the error you just have to hover it add final field formal parameters now you added these all variables in the constructor as a required attribute you can see image is required title subtitle and on press is required let's remove the not usable imports 
and now let's head back to verify email and you can see when we are calling this success screen we can easily get the error because we need to add all the required argument before we want to use this success screen okay i've added all the attributes required in the success screen on the on pressed we will call a function which is get.2 which will take us to the success screen but success screen also required these four attributes which is image title subtitle and on pressed so we will pass the image title subtitle and on press right over here and according to these details our success screen will be created okay let's save the code hit on this continue button and you can see we have that specific image title subtitle and continue button continue button will take us to the login screen as defined right over here now we can easily use uh, this success screen by simply calling this success screen pass the values required and that's it Let's suppose if there is an error, we can pass some error related image, error related title, subtitle and also the action if required related to the error. It's all up to you. If you don't want to pass it, go to on pressed and in here you just have to add a question mark and remove this required from here and it will not ask you to pass this as a mandatory or it will not be required anymore. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you learned something new, please like the video. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for all the upcoming videos. Once again, thank you for watching. And don't forget to download the code or project code from description below. Thank you for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.